still waiting for the Thor Love and Thunder trailer, but we might have some good news. According to Mr. Gravitas on Instagram, the trailer for Thor Love and Thunder is ready and is possibly getting ready to or has already begun the localization process. This of course doesn't give us a release date and in theory, Marvel could wait until the day before the movie comes out to drop it. But at least they have it finished and normally once a trailer is localized, it comes out not too much later. Take this as you will, but a Brazilian website, Chipu, is claiming that the trailer will release on April 18th, which is next Monday. I would take this with a grain of salt since this isn't a trusted site, but we do know that Marvel typically drops their trailers on Mondays, and given that the trailer is currently finished and likely in the localization process, this date would make sense. If you watched my video yesterday, you'll also have already seen these images, but I was waiting for a few more to drop, which is why I didn't cover them in more detail. The Marvel Legends figures which were leaked, showing us our first looks at the characters, also have descriptions on the back, which while usually quite vague, can give us hints as to what's to come in the movie. The ones we currently have are Ravager Thor, Gore the God Butcher, Mighty Thor, and King Valkyrie. But I was also hoping that they would drop the ones for Thor, Star-Lord, and Groot before covering them in depth. They haven't yet, so I'll go over these four that we do have first and cover the rest when and if we get them. Anyways, Ravager Thor's description says, Thor wields the mighty Stormbreaker against a terrifying new foe. Gore's description reads, wielding a strange and terrifying weapon Gore will let nothing stand in his way. Mighty Thor says, Jane Foster's life is forever changed when she mysteriously comes to possess the hammer Mjolnir and the power of the mighty Thor. And Valkyrie says, when a dangerous new visitor threatens the livelihood of new Asgard, King Valkyrie is forced to take up her sword once more to defend her people. Next, this seems and actually is very, very late, but it's actually a really smart and good decision on Marvel's part. Normally, the major outlets, large YouTubers, etc., get to watch movies and episodes weeks before we do. But for Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, that's not the case. According to Steven Weintraub over at Collider, the first time anyone will get to watch Doctor Strange 2 is on Monday, May 2nd at the world premiere, and the review embargo will lift the next morning on Tuesday, May 6th at 6 a.m. Pacific time. So while there may be spoilers and everyone and their mothers will be reviewing and praising the movie, for those who don't want to know anything about the movie beforehand, it'll be easier to stay off social media for a few days instead of having to wait weeks. I actually really like this change because Marvel doesn't really even need to promote Doctor Strange 2 anymore so they can get away with the late reviews. Something like Black Panther Wakanda Forever, which is more controversial, may benefit from reviews coming out early to hopefully mitigate people's uncertainty about the movie or maybe even prove what they were worried about. We'll have to wait until then to know for sure, but you get what I'm saying. And lastly, if you hadn't realized, we're getting an MCU project every single month for the rest of the year. Right now, we're currently getting Moon Knight, which will run well into May, then we're getting Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. In June, we'll very likely get Miss Marvel. In July, Thor Love and Thunder. In August and September, we'll have She-Hulk since it's nine episodes. In October, we're getting Werewolf by Night. In November, Black Panther Wakanda Forever. And in December, the Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special. But uh-oh, we're still missing What If Season 2, which was confirmed by the director to be releasing this year as well. So unless Marvel delayed it since that announcement, they'll have to squeeze it in somewhere. I have no idea where they could put it because it'll most likely also be 9 or 10 episodes long and there aren't that many free weeks where we're not already getting a movie or an episode for some other Disney Plus show, so I guess we'll have to wait and see how they stretch things out. But let me know what you guys think about all this. When do you think we'll get the trailer for Thor 4? Are you glad that the Doctor Strange 2 reviews are coming out so late? And what upcoming MCU project are you most excited for? If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you will never miss another video. Thanks for watching. And remember to wash your hands and stay safe.